How's everyone doing today? Good, good, good. Man, y'all look so beautiful from up here. Can I get another round of applause for y'all? <laughs> I want to thank the Osprey program so much today for allowing me to come and be able to speak to y'all. Um, looking into the crowd and looking at all the students and hearing all about the programs and the things that they've been doing for the last few weeks is reminiscent of my own experience whenever I was uh, about their age and attending the summer science camp in Houston. Now, I don't know about them, but my mom can tell you I was pretty reluctant about going. But after the fact, I was pretty excited from all the things that I learned. And especially, can I get a round of applause for all the PAs like Mr. Nash, Mr. Reyes, and Mr. Holland, and Karen. It's pretty neat and amazing to see people being able to pour into other students' lives because all the students in here make up our next generation. Y'all are our next leaders. Y'all are going to be able to go out and change the world and do amazing things. So to the students, take a second and just pat yourself on the back. Little do you know it, but some of the skills and traits you learned from problem solving, the experiences that you had, and the presentation skills that I just noticed that you developed over the next few weeks are gonna be so important for you in all the days ahead as you go through your days in um, school, as you go into college, and then as you work into your own careers and becoming the best that you can be. But most importantly, everything that you have for you is in the future, and your future is yours to create. So for everyone in the students here listening about how you learned about creating bridges, those are all things that you were able to do with your hands, with your imagination, with your ideas, and with the energy and all the passions that you may have. And no matter what you may believe or want to achieve, you're capable of doing everything possible to make those things happen. And you have the support of not only your parents, friends, and the other PAs and mentors, but a lot of people that have come along the way are gonna be there to be able to support you. And in fact, there's some good examples of people who've been able to overcome uh, odds that I'd like to share with you. I don't know if you know this handsome stud, but this is George Washington Carver. Uh, you probably know him from some of the buildings that we have in Austin that's named after him. George Washington Carver, Carver was an American botanist and an inventor. Now, he was born into slavery sometime in Missouri around 1861, but he didn't let that stop him from being able to do the things that he wanted to do and change in the world as he said, saw fit. He developed techniques to help improve soil um, to deplete it by replanting of cotton. And he worked with agriculture ex experts helping farmers to restore nitrogen to their so soils. Um, with all these crops and things that were able to grow, he able, helped be able to get better yields that farmers weren't making before, which was really big back in the 1860s. In addition, he founded an industrial research laboratory where he and his assistants worked to popularize new crops and developing hundreds of applications for them. He, all of their research was shared so that he could be helpful for the general public. He helped make a change in the way that farmers interacted with yielding crops and growing everything that they have. Another example of somebody that did something amazing is Ellen Shoah. Ellen Shoah is an American engineer and a former astronaut and is the director of the Johnson Space Center. She was a doctoral student at Stanford University and later became a researcher at the National Laboratories and the NASA Ames Research Center. She investigated Optal systems were performing information processing. She developed many patents and was a co-inventor on others. She also became the chief of the Intelligent Systems Technology Branch at Ames, and she supervised a team of over 35 engineering scientists in research and development of computational systems for aeronautic missions. She published many of her findings through different types of scientific journals. Through her work, she's been able to help revolutionized how NASA computes information. Now, these are just two examples of individuals that were able to make changes in different areas of time. But most importantly, there's one uh, common thing for them. Innovation. Innovation comes from the ideas. It comes from all different people. It comes from all different walks of life. It comes from all different perspectives. Each one of you students in here has a perspective on the world that you can help influence change. And most importantly, all of our differences and all of our ideologies collectively is what helps drive change. The most important thing that you must know is that you're here to make a difference. You have the power to do anything that you want to do, whether it's being creating a bridge, whether it's going up to space, whether it's creating new technology, it's all in the power of your hands. So for the students, take your hands and cup it like this. 
Don't ever forget, inside of your hands is the power to do anything that you want to achieve. Don't let anything stop you as far as barriers that may come in front of you, knowledge that you may attain, or conversations you need to have to help grow. You have the ability to overcome any obstacles that may be set before you and be able to make the change that you have. But most importantly, there's three different pieces of information that you must do in order to take the power that's in your hands and help it to manifest. The first thing, you have to envision your future. You have to dream big and most importantly, dream forever. Don't ever stop dreaming. Now I want everybody to close your eyes. I want you to think of the meal that you had last night. If it was good, say, mm. Y'all must be eating good then. Now, I want you to take a second. We thought about last night's meal. I want you to take a second and think about Thanksgiving. Oh, y'all beat me to it. Y'all had some great Thanksgiving meals then. Now, even further, I want you to think about the biggest family gathering you've ever been to and all the food that was there. Y'all got a little louder that time. <laughs> this is the part of dreaming. You have to dream big, and dream so big that it, it could be something that you think is just entirely impossible. But hey, from some of y'all's family feasts that y'all had, I need a seat and a plate, so make sure to save some room for me. Mark Zuckerberg, what is one of my favorite um, inventors, he created Facebook. And most importantly, it started out with a means of just connecting people. He was a student on a college campus with wanting to be able to connect all the people on the campus together. And he had a dream of making it into this big network that would be able to connect so many people in revolutionary lives. And he never gave up on his dream. What started with five people now employs over 6,000 different in individuals. What started out with a kind of bet to build a website ended up turning and connecting billions of people. This is the part of things that he never stopped dreaming. He kept thinking, how can I make it better? How can I make it better? And as he achieved one thing, he kept moving on to the next. So don't ever forget to dream and don't ever stop dreaming because in your dreams comes the visions that you can make your reality. The next step is developing your plan. So Mark Zuckerberg started out with a dream. His dream was to make a network. But most importantly, the next piece was, how do you build your plan so much that you're able to execute and do everything that you want to do? When it comes to building a house, they don't just say, let's just throw up the wood, let's throw up some bricks. The house isn't there. It starts with a foundation. A foundation starts the platform from which a house is built on. It starts with cement, it starts with a solid foundation. And from that, they build the wood. And from that, they start building more things until eventually over the coming months, you see a full house. In the same way as a process into building a house, there's gotta be a process in the steps in your life that you want to do. For Mark Zuckerberg in building Facebook, it started out with working on college campuses. He went from college campus to college campus, being able to build his program and be able to share it out to more individuals. As it got to be more college focused, he then was able to move on to working with adults. So the program ended up becoming less about just college students, but more accepting more people. And then he continued to build. He continued to build, he continued to build. Until next thing you know, the program, had, the program was built and all the students and all the adults and all the parents and all the grandparents were all connected on one network. And so that's what ended up building the plan of building Facebook. So for all the ideas that you may have and the plans and things that you want to achieve, you can make it happen. You just have to figure out what are your steps? You start with your vision, you start with your dream. And then from there, you start building out what are my actual steps to get to where I want to go. Once you start achieving one by one, you start knocking things off, next thing you know, the dream that was so big is gonna end up being something that's gonna be your reality. The last piece that's most important for you is to enjoy the future. Enjoy the ride of your life. Enjoy the successes that you make yet to. As you get to each step in the process, you need to take a second and to remind yourself, hey, I've overcome this. Hey, I've been able to create this. Hey, look at what I've done with the power that's in my hands. Success comes as you make iterative steps, and you make constant contributions, you make constant growth. But if you don't take the time to enjoy the success, you won't really be able to realize all the amazing things that you do. Each one of you students are amazing in your own way, doing many amazing things. Your parents are proud of you, your friends are proud of you, but most importantly, everybody in this room, the, P the PAs, we're all proud of you. 
because y'all are gonna be amazing in the things that you do, and if you, the power that you have in your hands, you're gonna be able to help it and do many amazing things. We're gonna look back 20 years from now and say, wow, I remember when you were yay high, or I remember when you were in our program, and look at how you've grown now. So for the last piece, I want you to remember that you're amazing. Be amazing every day of your life. Don't ever let anybody dull your spirit. Don't let anything stop you from becoming everything that you want to be. Don't ever let any dream seem too big. Keep these things in mind. You have the power in your hands. You've done many great things. And most importantly, we're all here to support you in your growth and development. And get a round of applause for all the students. Now go be amazing.